Hey, what's up? It's just Nick, and I'm here with a very talented artist, singer, and she goes by the name of Raven Lene. First off, welcome. Thank you. And I'm excited because we got a lot to talk about. Yes. The project that's coming out yep. this Friday, yep. the new single. Let's just start for people who may not be familiar with you. Where are you from? I'm from the south side of Chicago, <laughs> so not too far. Um, yeah, born and raised. And what was it like growing up? Like, do you have a musical family background? Or are you the only singer? Um, I have music lovers in my family. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say I, I'm probably one of the only ones who pursue music as a career. But my grandfather loves music. My dad loves music. And you have like a very distinct voice, right? Mm. Which I love because you just have to be different nowadays. Yeah. Are there musical influences that you had that you listened to growing up that you was like, you know, I love how different they are? Or when did you embrace how different you are? I think uh, my voice honestly changed. I mean, our voices don't stop changing until like we're in our thir 35. So I think my voice is just developing as I get older. But also, um, I did listen to a lot of Minnie Rippertson growing up. My mom played Denise Williams out. <laughs> um, it's funny you said that, because that, yeah. that's the first sound that I think of when I hear your voice. Denise, like, yeah, love. Minnie Rippertson, yeah. you know. Yeah, Mitchell Patrice. Yeah, so you, Those so are you my know girls. about like, okay, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, so here we go, here we go. <laughs> So um, let's get into talking about your new single one wish yeah featuring childish gambino yeah <laughs> that's a dope collaboration thank How did you that come so dahi who executive produced my new album um is good friends with donald and i had a few sessions with donald around his new album um but when we were thinking about a feature, we both looked at each other and were like, ooh, Donna would be crazy on this. And just add some perspective that I thought was missing from the song. The song is about the complex relationship with my father and us rekindling things and learning forgiveness um, and getting closer. So working with Donna was so special because he's an artist that really cares about making sure the story is correct and he's telling it correctly. Um, so there were a lot of conversations around uh, my childhood and what it felt like growing up without you know my dad being present all the time um, what my mom's perspective was like he really wanted to get into the the nooks and crannies of what it felt like for me um, and then him being a father himself I think added an extra layer of perspective so were you able to get in the studio together yeah yeah How was that dynamic? it was so good is he silly like I just feel like he might he's, have some silly he's books. actually more serious in the wow. studio I think because he just he wants to nail it and get it right so yeah a lot a lot of thought goes into his process which I was really um, excited to see for sure yeah I love the video concept Thank I you. feel like it goes perfectly with the song Thank and you. the message of it and I think it's important to have that conversation about childhood trauma yeah. I talk about that a lot yeah especially with artists and I love when people can open up yeah. so the correlation that I liked of how you transitioned what happened as a child without right. a father and then seeing how it shows up in your adult life with the people that yeah. you date yeah that is such a powerful statement yeah piece. So was that like the whole goal? That was the goal for sure. Um, and then getting my father in the video to play. That was him. I heard that he yeah. was in this. <laughs> That was How him. How was that? That was a unique experience. Um, but I think it brought, it brought us closer. I was definitely nervous to ask him to be in it and have him be a part of it only because um, I just didn't want him to feel blindsided or embarrassed about anything that I may touch on in the lyrics or in the video, but he came super open and super, um, I don't know, s super down to tell the story with me. So that's awesome. Yeah, and I could, even just shooting it and looking over and seeing him there, I was like, oh, that's all I wanted as a kid, oh. you know. So it was a really beautiful moment for us to connect over and remember. For sure, mm -hmm. and you being able to speak your truth. Yeah. And him being able to accept yes. it and, and take accountability. Yeah. Did he say that it sparked any emotions or like was yeah. it a heavy moment in the recording? I think after, so after we shot the video, he had an extra day in LA and we met up and basically 
debriefed and talked about what the experience felt like for him and that was his first time hearing the song and the lyrics so it was a lot at once and I was worried about overwhelming him um but he he came from a place of understanding and was like your experience is your experience I can't take that away from you um certain scenes did feel hard for him you know the scene with the little girl running behind the car that was difficult for him but um it was important that I acknowledged that part of my like psyche to be able to now release it and like move forward. So for sure, yeah. Do you feel like that video is similar to your real life situations? Like, have you dated guys that you think is like okay, this is showing daddy issues? I think I like to look a little more like internal with that and really understanding what is it about like my decisions or my needs for attention or needs for this type of love or this type of la love language or, and I'm still figuring that out as I get older. Um, but really looking inward of, of like, what are the things that may, may need to be addressed like within myself that I bring to a relationship, if that makes sense. For sure. Like even, you know, now, like I had a, a situation where, um, my boyfriend was at a, a photo shoot with me, and then I think some, he had something to do, so he left. And like, I felt mm -hmm. so triggered by that mm -hmm. and like emotional about it. And it wasn't that serious, but then I, I was able to connect it to, oh, like feeling like my dad always had somewhere else to be or, or had some better plans or, you know. So just looking a little more internal of like w how my, I connect with, um, you know, those things that happened in my childhood. I love that. Yeah. The fact that you can identify it yeah. so that you can explain, like, yeah. this, this is why. I'm yeah, it's not you. Yeah, it's, it's really me. Yeah. But, you know, and a lot of people can say that. Like, yeah. they just be like, nah, you wrong. You right. should have been there for right. me. Right. And there's always an underlying issue. So that speaks always. volumes about just your growth and yeah. maturity and relationships. I love yeah. that. So, okay, I just learned that she's an Aquarius. <laughs> Shout out to all the Aquarians out there. Y'all smart, intelligent, you know. <laughs> However. <laughs> Um, I want to ask a fun question. So yeah. what do you feel like your toxic trait is if you have one? My toxic trait, I think Aquarians get a bad, bad rep, like, as we should, for being a little flighty. <laughs> I didn't want to call her out, right? Because I was going to say, listen, if you never dated an Aquarius, when you break up, their <laughs> cutoff game <laughs> is... You're like, are you human? <laughs> Did you feel nothing for me? <laughs> it's like that. It's like once the button is off, it's off. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. Like they don't spin the block. No. Don't exist. Nope. Don't exist. Shout out to the people that can do that. <laughs> it don't exist. So I would say that's my like it's a good thing sometimes, especially when you're trying to remove yourself from something that like isn't great. But I'm like learning how to communicate better and like explain why right. <laughs> I'm not coming back. <laughs> she'll ghost you, she'll let you know. Nah, explain it. Not working. That's hilarious. So, what? Okay, so I, I love that song right there. Um, Thank you. Bird's Eyes, getting yeah. ready to come out. Yeah. Why did you pick that title? I found that when like making the album and also turning 25, I was kind of going through the Rolodex of memories and instances in my childhood where, I don't know, I felt there were pivotal moments that shaped me or made me who I am today. And I found that a lot of the, the inspiration behind making the album was me returning to this place of um, like childlike fearlessness and almost feeling invincible with music and with what I can do with my voice. Um, so that's why you see a lot of the imagery takes place back in Chicago at my grandma's house. Um, on the cover art, um, we photographed my grandmother's basement and the sink where I dyed my hair red for the first time. So I thought it would be super beautiful to symbolize kind of like the, the start, the initi initiation of um, me asserting myself in a really um, affirming way. So I think the album signifies coming back to that and trusting that. For sure. Mm -hmm. I love that. 
especially with the choice of dyeing your hair red. Yeah. Whenever I do that, yeah. like I'm a totally different yeah. person. Yeah. And you just get this fierceness. I love the ginger yeah. on you now. Thank you. Um, and I think I've seen you in blonde too. So yeah. you can Thank rock you. <laughs> Thank but like, you. what's your favorite color to rock? Hmm. Or does it depend on your mood? I mean, the red will always be like in my heart <laughs> for sentimental re reasons, but I'm loving the ginger right now. It's still in a red family, but I think it's it's just an, another another era, I guess. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So, how involved are you with your projects? Would you say you had a lot of influence in this album that's getting ready to come out? Yeah. Um, so, with each album, it's always me spearheading whatever. Um, yes, Aquarius. The feel. <laughs> Whatever the feeling is or the emotion I want to get across. Um, but then working, obviously, with producers who bring out a lot in me, too. And Dahi, executive producing this album, meant a lot for it, for me and for the direction the album took. Um, because he's a legend. Um, and something about his process I really love is he just leans into what feels right. And it may not make sense, but he follows it and sees where it leads him. So a lot of the songs started that way and ended in a place that felt natural and that felt uh, impactful, so. We don't need talking, there's nothing left to say just I love that. Yeah. I saw you were working with Ty Dolla Sign yeah. too. Mm -hmm. He is like the hook master. No, for real. Like, those melodies be on point. For real. So is there somebody that you're looking forward to working with like in the future? That you're yeah. Like, I want to do a dream collab. Yeah. I love Tyler, the creator. Um, we love to work with him. I think it's, he's one of one of our best producers right now. Um, I love Doja. I think she's incredible. S seeing an artist be able to transform themselves with every project or with every feeling is something that's inspiring to me. Um, what about yeah. Legends? Because I saw you yeah. in a picture with yeah. Lauren Hill. Oh, I yeah. Was like, okay, how Love her. <laughs> Love her. Um, we met, that was our second time meeting actually when we took that picture, but that experience was so unique because I was able to sing Roberta Flax Killing Me Softly in front of Lauren. <laughs> So I was the whole time I was like, this feels like a fever dream that I'll never forget. So we were making eye contact, like locked in like this wow. the whole time. It didn't make you nervous? Now, oh, girl, <laughs> the whole time, the whole time. So I just had to go to a different place in my head. But afterwards, she was so sweet. She said I did an amazing job. Um, yeah, she's an icon. So it was so good to finally, you know, meet sure. in that way. For sure. So mm -hmm. who's a legend that you would want to collaborate with? Yeah, um, I love I love Raphael Sadiq. Um, so maybe That's something bad. down the line working with him. Um, who else? Who else? Um, Missy, I would love to see what she would what, she, what we could do. Um, it would definitely be out the box, right? I think. Like just so I'm different. I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, yeah, those, those are probably the two top of mind. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So of course the album is coming out. Yeah. You're about to hit a North American and go to Europe. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do you travel overseas a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I'm touring, it's, I usually hit Europe. Is there like things. a place that you like traveling to or is it, how different is it from touring in the States? Hmm. That's a great question. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, everywhere has a different energy to it. I love performing in London. Um, there's just hype. <laughs> and that, that city was like one, of the, like one of my main supporters when I first started dropping music, just even on SoundCloud. Oh, wow. So whenever I go back, I feel, um, I feel at home in a way, so. Um, yeah. Is that weird when you first discovered that yeah. you were being noticed oh, outside the country? Yeah, I never even thought about being noticed outside of Chicago wow. <laughs> for a long time. So, like, even having an understanding that, like, oh, people are listening in and like tuning in from, you know, outside of my city, was crazy to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. still is. <laughs> yeah. 
that yeah. part. Well, you're going to be hitting the road soon. Yeah. Congratulations to you on Thank that. You, Look forward to more projects from you. Um, if you wanted to put out one conception about you that you wanted people to know, like, this is who I stand for as an artist. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. What would that be? Um, I think I would want people, especially with bird's eye, to understand that I'm like changing by the day, by each album, and that, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm peeling back the layers on who I am and getting closer to that and closer to feeling completely comfortable with sharing that. So I think people will hear that with this album and really be proud of me. <laughs> I love that. I yeah. love that for you. Yeah, thank so, you. So y'all make sure you go get the project. And what's your favorite joint on there? Ooh, it, change? it changes. Most artists say that. It changes. I would say right now it's um, maybe Love is Blind. Mm. I think I, I keep describing it as like the most Raven Lene sounding song ever <laughs> only because i think it it just has elements of all the things that make my music what it is so like like um there's usually like a strong melodic element to my music um and then there's usually like kind of an off kilter drum pattern um and then some guitar in there somewhere. <laughs> what about the emotional tie? Like, is there a strong tie to that? Love is blind. To the song itself? Yeah, um, yeah for sure. That song is about me um, getting out of a, a long-term relationship and realizing that I needed to end that relationship to get to this other side of who I am. So it's, it's a bittersweet song, mm. yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, make sure you check out the project and thank you guys so much. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, babe. Thank you for having me. Now, now, bird's eye. Make sure you go check it out, and she'll be on tour soon.